Planks. Lie on your front with your forearms on the floor. Raise your body off the floor, keeping a straight line from your shoulders all the way down to your heels. Hold still, ensuring your hips do not dip down and your bum is not high in the air. Try and hold a nice straight line. For an easier version, simply place your knees on the floor with your upper legs creating a 45 degree angle with the ground, whilst keeping your back in a nice straight line from your shoulders to your hips. Side plank. Lie on your side with one leg directly on top of the other and forming a straight line from your ankles through your knees, hips and shoulders. Place your elbow directly under your shoulder. Raise your other arm straight up in line above your other shoulder. Then lift your body up, pushing your hips as high as possible. Hold this position as still as possible, ensuring you keep your hips high. For an easier version, lie in a straight line, but bend your bottom leg, keeping this leg on the floor to support you when you raise up. Raise your body again, ensuring your hips are as high as possible, and hold. High plank. Lie on your front and place your two hands directly underneath your shoulders. Raise yourself into a plank, creating a straight diagonal line from your ankles to your shoulders. When stable, take your body weight forward so you're on your tiptoes. Ensure your hips don't sag and your bum is not in the air. For an easier version, simply drop your knees to the floor and hold. Do not have your knees directly underneath your hips. Create a 45 degree angle with your upper leg and the floor, so your knees are closer to your feet than your hips. Okay, let's get down. First plank on your forearm. We're gonna go in five, in four, in three, in two, in one. Good position. Hips are low, nice, strong, stable, plank, okay? Hold them there. As you're in that position, do not let your hips sag down. Hold them nice and strong, nice and firm. You've got seven seconds, and we're gonna roll into a side plank. Five, four, three, two, and one. Try and stay up if you can. Feet don't go down. Two, one, and up. Hands directly above your shoulder. Straight line, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders. Hips are high. Hips are up. Nice and relaxed. Hold for 10. Good, push the hips up. Five, hold them up. Four, three, two, and one. Now we come down, spin round. Side plank on the other side. In two, in one. Up we go. And hold. Hands above that shoulder, hips are high. 15 seconds. Then we're gonna go into a high plank. Try and keep your knees off the floor as we change position. Five, and four, three, and two, and one. We go over, forearms onto your hands, body weight forward, and hold. Okay, let's complete round one. Hold them up strong. 10 seconds. Stay nice and relaxed, even if you've got the shakes going on. We've got eight, seven, six, five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Onto your knees and relax. Okay, one round in the bank. Gonna go on that. Plank on your forearms for the beginning of round two. Get ready to go. Okay, back onto your forearms. In two, in one, down we go. Okay, we're only doing 25 seconds. Make sure your technique is right. Make sure you're nice and low with those hips. And you're breathing in and out. Stay as relaxed as possible. We've got 10 seconds to go. Then you're gonna roll onto your left elbow, or left forearm, should I say. Three, in two, in one, we roll across. Make sure we've got that straight line going on. Hips up, hand up, and hold. Again, nice and relaxed. Breathe in, breathe out, but your hips are high. Ten to go, hold them up. This is the only stage where we come down. In five seconds, we change sides. Two, 
and one. Down we go. Spin round. Straight line. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders. Up we go. And hold. Make sure that hand's not back there or in there. It's straight up above your shoulder. Your hips are high. Halfway. Round number two. Five to go. And two, and one. Look to your forearms. Up onto your hands. Hips are low, and forward. 25 seconds, round two in the back. 10 now. Okay, stay with me, number 10 seconds. Round two is done. Body weights forward, working that core. A little bit of shoulders and triceps in there as well. Two and one. And relax. Good, two rounds complete, one to go. Like I said at the top end, and I'll say it again at the end. We're only doing 25 seconds on and before we're changing exercise. If you want to do 45 seconds, a minute, two minutes, you can do 20 minutes if you really like. You got, you're stronger in there, make sure you do. Okay, we're going to go in 12 seconds, last round. <coughs> Okay, six seconds, let's line them up. Five, and four, three, and two, and one. Let's get it done, last round. Make sure you're keeping your technique. Make sure you're keeping your posture. Form is everything, form is everything. Okay, we're over halfway. Okay, show me six, show me five, four, three, Two and one. Knees off the floor if you can. Turn them around. Hips are up. Arms up. And we're strong. Good technique. Elbow directly underneath your shoulder. Hand directly above your sh other shoulder. Hips up. Straight lines. Halfway on this one. If your hips are dropping, push them up. Be disciplined with yourself. Work yourself. Five and four. Three. And two, and one, down we go. Little spin for me. Straight lines, two, one, post them up. We're strong. Hips are up. Let's work right down this bottom hand side here. Core, torso, nice and strong for 10. Good, good, good. We got five, four, three, Two and one. Forearms. No knees, no knees. Onto your hands. Straight line. Body weight forward. 25 to finish. There's 10 in the bank. 15 to go. Nice and relaxed. Okay, we've got under 10. You might get the shakes, but finish it off for five. Four. Three, two, and one. Well done, guys. Okay, nice little core workout. Obviously, you're working down the middle with your front and your last one, and then you're hitting your sides primarily on your second, on your middle two, your second and your third one. Guys, if you enjoyed that, feel a little tickle going on in the core. Feel like you got something out of it. If you want more free videos, more information, more tips, then subscribe and follow the links below.